Hello Dev, Rob Summer is here. Welcome back to WebDev Channel. In today's episode, we are gonna create for Scratch and step by step a joke generator using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We're gonna build it using I can has that joke API and also using JavaScript. So every time we hit the button, we will have a new random joke like so. Let's have some fun. All right, Dev, let's really start from scratch. Let's create our main files here, okay, index for our markup, style.css, our presentation layer, and our behavior layer, app.js, okay? Let's close this for now, and let's create here our boilerplate. Hit tab a couple of times, go to the title, and here in the title, let's say something like joke generator okay that's a project that's gonna make you have fun and under this one we need a link that's gonna connect our markup to our style.css okay and something else we need here is gonna be a font awesome link okay because we are gonna have one just one icon okay but we have to have it our head tag is done so let's go to the body here close the close body tag let's have a script pointing to our external javascript file now let's move into our markup okay it's gonna be quite simple we're gonna have our main container and inside this one let's have our h3 say anything like try not to laugh okay try not to laugh challenge because they have some very good jokes, okay? And under this one, we're gonna have another div, okay? With the class of joke for the CSS and the ID of joke, okay? It's gonna be outpopulate using JavaScript, okay? But for now, we're gonna have this text just for your there for us to style that using CSS, okay? Let's see what you have so far. Looks like we don't have a lot, okay? Just try not to laugh, and here goes the joke, all right? Under this div, let's create a button, okay? And let's give the class of btn for the CSS and get joke for our JavaScript, okay? And here, let's say get another joke, okay? We're gonna be clicking here and having a new joke from their api okay and let's go here to the font awesome i also want to add this icon to the button okay so let me paste in here save and as you can see we have the get another joke and also a nice icon looks like he likes our jokes okay let me give some more space here. And in the next step, let's apply some style to it. It looks like our page really needs some styling, okay? So let's start by changing the font. Let's go to the Google Fonts and let's grab Poppins, okay? Let's just copy this one and paste it here. We are, in this case, importing it. And let's grab our universal selector and box sizing is gonna be border box to everything. I like apply styles from top to the bottom, it's easy for you to understand, okay? So let's grab the body and background and let's add a image as a background, okay? There's a link down below, you can download this one. Let's use here the shorthand center, center, cover, and yeah, we came across with a issue. We have two of them, we did just one, so no repeat. And again, this is the dev's life. Okay, let's solve this one. Height 100 VH, and yeah, now it's okay. Our next thing to do here is gonna be put uh, those elements right in the middle. We're gonna be using flex box to do that 
just like content along the main axis and the line items center along the cross axis. And we also want to remove any margin. So margin here is going to be zero. And moving down, let's go to our main container. Okay. This one where we have all these elements here. So let's give the column. Background color is going to be white. Okay. It's going to be easy for you to read. Let me type here. Okay. A white color. We also want here to have a border radius of 10 pixels, make it round around the corners. And let's also apply some box shadow, okay? Zero offset, 10 pixels, 20 pixels blur. And let's pick a black color, 000. zero, zero. And for the transparency dot one, okay? Let's have a comma here and have six pixels six pixels let's copy the same color in the same transparency here as you can see looks like it's closer to the user okay very nice let's also have a padding of 50 pixels top and bottom 20 left and right okay and for the margin here Max width, we want that to be 100%. The width is going to be 800 pixels, okay? As you can see, very big. I am, I like to give it some zoom because some people are watching this on cell phones or mobile phones, okay? And text align is going to be center. And now we want to grab our H3, try not to laugh, okay? And let's make a few changes here, like margin zero, and let the space in two pixels decrease the opacity. We don't want that to compete with our jokes, okay? Looks nice. Now let's move to the jokes, okay? How they will be. Let's grab the class dot joke you remember and the font size here is going to be 30 pixels very big and for the color let's pick also a black color okay this one 161 10d another thing line height 40 pixels in case that you have some jokes that are longer okay and margin is going to be 50 pixels and Auto. So as you can see, using this in the middle, the max width, let's say 600 pixels. Okay, from top to bottom, now let's go to the button. Okay, let's start out by changing its color. Background color is gonna be this one, this purplish color. And let's get rid of border. Okay, and let's also border radius. It's going to be 10 pixels, make it round with its corners. Another thing we should be doing here is apply also some shadow. Okay. Let's just copy this one and make a couple of changes. Okay. So we don't have to type so much. It helps. But okay, this is too long. And under this one, now we want to apply some color to everything that's inside the text and the icon both of them are white cursor pointer so the user know that he can click on it okay and the font size here is going to be a little bigger okay 16 pixels let's make the button bigger 14 pixels top and bottom and 40 pixels left and right okay as you can see we have a nice button now and the next thing here Let's give some interactivity here, give some animation to a button. So that button active, so the user knows that he is clicking on something, okay? Transform scale, we're gonna shrink a little bit. As you can see, we click and it shrink just a little bit, okay? But enough to the user knows, yeah, he's clicking on something, okay? One more thing we're gonna do here is 
moved his happy face, his laughing face a little bit. It's too close to the get a little joke, okay? So margin left four pixels. Let's try five pixels. I think four pixels is okay. Okay, devs, now let's have fun, okay? Let's use JavaScript to call the API and edit the text from the API, okay? Let's go back to our markup. Let's copy the button and also the joke, okay? Both of them are here. So let's save those into our variables, okay? Joke and get joke. Get element by ID. Let's paste it here. And this one is gonna be joke element because you're gonna have another one in here, okay? And the second thing here, let's add event list into the button, okay? This is very important, okay? Remember the get underline joke. So let's grab this one. Get joke, add event listen on click. And when this click happens, we want to uh, execute this function, okay? All right, and now we are gonna create that. We're gonna write that uh, function, the one that we're talking about on the, our event list, okay? Async function, generate joke. And this is gonna do two things, okay? Call the has API, okay, the first thing. And the second one is gonna be set a random joke, all right? All right, and now let's call the fetch function, okay? And in here, let's pass in the URL for I can has that joke. Okay, here is the link. Let's just copy this one. This is the API. And we also want to store the results into a variable. Okay, let's call that joke res. Let's also have the keyword await here. And this API also need to pass in the headers, okay? So, headers. Accept. Application. JSON. Basically, it means we need a JSON response, okay? So, yeah. All right, and now we have the JSON response and we want to save that into the variable called joke, okay? So, const joke await joke res.json, okay? And saved into the variable. And allow me to show you what you have here. First of all, let's invoke this one and let's log out into the console so you're gonna see exactly what you have here okay so console.log joke let's go to the browser and here as you can see we have this object let me give my space here and you have three things here we have our joke our main stuff i ID okay and also the status of 200 okay this is the joke that you're gonna be using all right you're gonna do that in the next part all right our main idea here is quite simple we're gonna click on the button and there is a event list on click and this event list is gonna execute our generate joke okay so joke el element dot in html is going to be equals to joke dot joke okay so let me click here yeah i have one and yeah the project is done if you like it you smash that like button and you also subscribe so you don't miss anything bye bye and see you in the next one